Earlier this year, I was getting some exercise walking down at the park. And I encountered this sign, which advertised that we buy and sell new and used golf carts. And my statistics brain immediately concluded we could cross-tabulate that data. You see, there are two variables represented on this sign. One is buy and sell. The other is new and used. They buy new golf carts and sell used golf carts, but they also buy used golf carts and sell new golf carts. Those two variables can be combined in a table to give us a count of how many of each are bought and sold. Now there's a weakness to this particular example, and that is we don't really have a good set of counts for these data. So let me show you what might be an even more interesting example of cross-tabulation, putting two variables together in a table. I want to play for you a sound, and you tell me what you hear. Are you ready? Laurel. 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 What word did you hear? I am now going to increase the frequency take us up into a higher frequency, and tell me if the sound of this word changes. Laurel, 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 Laurel. Are you hearing the same word or a different word than we began with? Now let's move this sound into lower frequencies and tell me if the sound of the word changes. Laurel. At any point, did the sound of that word change from the original to something different? This is an auditory illusion. We can hear different things depending upon the pitch. The sound is exactly the same, but the frequency at which the sound is played can change the word that you hear. Now let's listen again to the original. Laurel. 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 Which word did you hear? This is a variable. We have people that hear one word or the other. Now let me show you a visual illusion. What color is this dress? When I look at this dress, I can see very clearly that this dress is blue and black. My wife, however, tells me that I'm wrong, that this dress is clearly white and gold. Now, I have not told my wife that she is wrong, because as a married man, I know that there are two schools of thought about arguing with women, and neither one of them work. However, this dress, blue and black. So regardless of which sound you heard or which color dress you saw, we have two variables at play. The sound, one or the other, the dress, one of two color combinations. We can cross-tabulate this data and get counts. So our survey would be very simple. What sound do you hear? Pick one. What color dress do you see? Pick one. There are now four possible combinations, and you would be in one of those four quadrants. I don't know if this research has been done. I certainly haven't done it. Maybe it's something you could try in class as a clever example of cross-tabulation. But for now, let me tell you more about cross-tabulation. In this example, we see a table in which we have cross-tabulated two variables. The first column is breed of dog. There are three categories. The columns are the days to failure of a gift toy that the dogs were given, and they've been broken down into categories 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, and 16 to 20. By looking at the cross tabulation, we could answer questions like, how many chihuahuas chewed up their toy in 1 to 5 days? How many retrievers chewed up their toy in 16 to 20 days? The cross in this cross tabulation allows us to look at specific groupings, combinations of variables, and determine the count. 
A cross tabulation summarizes two variables in one table. We can summarize two categorical variables in a cross tabulation table, as in sound heard and dress color seen. Or, as in this example, we could cross tabulate a categorical dog breed and bend quantitative days to failure variable. Or we could cross tabulate two bend quantitative variables, putting days to failure as a bend quantitative in columns and number of toys owned, also bend in the rows. And before we move on, let me remind you, bend quantitative data takes scale data and break that data into categories. So now we have three categories created from this original scale. The categories are what will go into our table. The cells within this table can be counts, as you see here with frequencies, or percentages, as you see with this table. This is the same data as before, only now I have changed the counts into frequencies by dividing each count by the total number of dogs in that category. In this case, I'm working across rows. So for instance, 56.3% of Chihuahuas chewed up their toys in the first five days, 43.8% in between days six and 10. Likewise, I could move across each row to determine the number of days until the dog toy was chewed up for fuzzy dogs or for retrievers. Cross tabulation, in addition to being a lot of fun, can tell us something important about the relationship between categorical variables. So now what we're going to learn to do is to visualize those variables using two very specific types of bar charts.